Let's talk about synchronous motor. Now, in industrial applications, they're usually 20 horse and larger, and they're used to drive air and gas compressors, DC generators, fans, blowers. Now, how they work, this the stator out here is just like the stator in a uh, uh, three-phase uh, squirrel cage motor, but the, the rotor here uh, is powered with DC, and it's powered through a set of slip rings. So, you set up this magnetic field and this, this rotor here, and that locks into this rotating flux around here, your, your three-phase rotating uh, field around here, and it stays in sync with that. So the, uh, the speed is dependent on the frequency. Okay, and for here it's uh, uh, 60 hertz, but uh, to find the frequency, it's 120 times the frequency uh, times the, divided by the number of poles, okay? Now on these motors, you never want to start it with this, this uh, rotor uh, energized. And most of the time, what they'll do is they'll put a resistor across here to start it, and then they'll open that resistor up and put power to the uh, to the stator here. Now, the reason they use these uh, these in industrial applications is that they they uh, they can correct the power factor, and so the most time they use them for air handling equipment because it just stays on all day long. And if you change this magnetic field here, you uh, it doesn't affect affect the speed. But it changes the power factor. So if you underexcite this this field, it results in a lagging power factor, and if you overexcite it, you have a leading power factor. So if you have a lot of uh, inductive load in your building, then uh, you can correct the power factor. So uh, it serves two purposes. You need a you need the the blower. You need the fans anyway running. You need uh, you need some motors to run those. And by using a synchronous motor, you can correct the the power factor. So that's why they use these a lot in uh, industrial applications. Now, let's take a look at these little um, synchronous motors here that are, uh, uh, these are very cheap and they're used to run uh, turntables and that because the uh, the speed is dependent on the frequency and usually the frequency is, is pretty stable from the power company. Now, how these work is that they have this, the inner inside here, this the rotor, instead of having it powered, it's just a uh, it's a magnetic uh, coil here. I mean, it's a magnetic, it's just magnet. And uh, this is a little unit I set up to uh, to test the uh, polarity, okay? So if I, I don't know if you can see that or not. If I, as I turn this, let's see. There we go. So, you can see it going from red red to green here. So we can count the number of poles in here. Just a way of checking it. I this was in my last last video. So we have our our, uh, our core here, our, our rotor here. And then there these are very simple. Here in fact let me try it before I take it apart. We'll turn it on. There we go. So it's running. You can see how slow this run. This one's running. They're uh, they're geared down quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I'll turn that off. Let's take the uh, the rotor out, and then this uh, this piece here. Th these are your. Uh, these become magnetized either north or south, and we have a just one coil in here. Take that off. Let me get that out of there. Yeah, there we go. It's just a coil of wire here, and then you can see down in here we have these. Uh, these let, these are the, these are going to be the poles, and these are the poles up here, and they inter they mesh together there. So, when the, uh, the this thing is energized with AC, one side is going to be north, one side is going to be south, and when it's uh, you know when this side's north, these these become north poles, and these become south poles. So they're just sitting and they're alternating north and south, back and forth, and uh, so very simple design and. Uh, that's all there is to this. Uh, these little cheap uh, synchronous motors, just one coil, but uh, the, this field just changes north and south, 
and these are the poles here. They have a set here and a set inside, and uh, it uh, that's all that's all it needs to uh, to make that thing work. So uh, that's your uh, your synchronous uh, motor. Thank you.